I believe I can state with relative confidence that your efforts are in vain. Even should it transpire that you vanquish my associates, this door is completely impenetrable. In addition to which, this cell contains a secret egress through which I may abscond whenever I desire. Meanwhile, my compatriots shall brutalize your person. You haven't lost your touch. I'm surprised his men were foolish enough to fight you. Now, truth be told, my superlative intellect notwithstanding, it would appear this is not, in fact, the specific cell I so confidently referenced earlier. The one with the secret exit has two beds. All right, you have prevailed, Your Majesty. I concede. However, I entreat you to entertain a certain proposal. You have nothing to offer, Ferret. It's over. Ah, that pronouncement is objectively devoid of merit. I happen to have on my person a substantial quantity of currency. Let me go free, and the money is yours. You royal miscreant! This grievous malefaction shall be rewarded with equally grievous retribution. I'm sorry to say we are falling well short of expectations. The treasury holds nowhere near enough gold. But the kingdom demands your attention once more. The time has come to make a decision on Albion's drinking laws. Under Logan's rule, our citizens are restricted in... Very good. Perhaps this is not the time to be implementing radical new measures. It will give both the gentry and the rabble something to complain about, who knows? It may take their minds off their impending doom. Let us move on to other matters, Your Majesty. You have a busy day in the throne room ahead. Samuel, the head of the bright... Though I'm sure Master Reaper will be the voice of reason, as always. Majesty. All stand to attention for the King of Albion. Here we go. This is gonna be Today you decide on the status of the Brightwall Academy, Your Majesty. Samuel will speak for the town and its scholars. Reaver will dispute his cause. You may speak. <clears throat> your Majesty, it was your father who opened the doors to Albion's greatest seat of learning. Under his rule, knowledge and... The Brightwall Academy will be open to all who wish to learn. The Brightwall Academy shall be reopened and Albion will once again have a free center of learning. Oh. Thank you, Your Majesty. This is the start of a new day for us all. Very well. I will make the arrangements at once.
Stimulate your intellect in the newly reopened Brightwall Academy. Suckle the knowledge from the land's greatest minds and avail yourself of the best library ever assembled. Everyone, from the most impoverished genius to the wealthiest idiot, is welcome. Brightwall Academy. Whatever you earn, it's the place to learn. The court summons Page and Reaver. The matter before you today is the future of Bower Lake. Reaver will offer his proposal. Page will stand against him. You may speak. Your Majesty, a recent survey of Bower Lake has found that the waterbed is rich in valuable metals. Now, as amusing as it would be to make workers hold their breath as they mine these resources, I fear it would be impractical. Instead, we have no choice but to dam the river and drain the lake of all water. Once that is done, we will have a ready-made quarry ripe for the plucking. It will be a pity to disfigure the landscape so close to my former home, but it is a sensible course of action in light of our current needs. Bower Lake is the last piece of natural beauty remaining in Bowerstone. It belongs to our history and should be protected. Don't take it away from us. You'll be taking away part of this city's soul with it. Oh, really? Paige is right. We must protect our natural resources. Bower Lake is to be left untouched. The king has ruled. Bower Lake's natural beauty is hereby protected by order of the crown. Thank you. Let's show the world Albion is worth defending. Is a pretty view worth more than a treasury full of gold? I bow to your greater wisdom. As someone whose home has overlooked the resplendent Bower Lake, I am pleased to declare the official protection of this natural wonder. May its water drown anyone who doesn't appreciate its beauty. I trust the court was not too dull today. In any case, I'm confident that your Lord would be most loyal. A loyal and wealthy member of our community has offered to make a sizable donation to our treasury. Her only request is that you go to Millfields to make the collection in person. A perfect chance to stretch your legs, Your Majesty. Ah, hello. where the thief is. He fled into the woods. Madam, I understand you want to recover what you've lost, but those woods are simply too dangerous. It would be suicide to enter them without combat experience, or training, or skill. I don't want to enter them. I want you to. Right. I was talking about me. Oh, just forget it. Ah, Your Majesty, it's such an honor to have you here. If only fate hadn't conspired to make me look like a fool. Beware the woods, Your Majesty. The soldiers may be superstitious, but there's no denying dangerous beasts lurk within. Good luck. I know you will succeed.
Looking for the statue, Your Majesty? Follow the White Balverine. You monster! Prepare to meet your... Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. For a moment there, I thought you were a Belverine. Damn things are always trying to get through our defenses. We burn silver nitrate in those lamps to keep them out. Kills them pretty quick if they hang around for too long. If a lamp goes out, well, I don't like to think what might happen then. One went out just recently, but we got it lit again fast. The man responsible, this bloke Connor, got punished. Severely. Before he disappears into the forest, he tells us there's gonna be a reckoning. He's probably in 25 different stomachs right now. That's my reckoning. You can come on out, everyone. It's safe. 